Hello everyone, I'm Double J. Welcome back to the Sinking City. We just finished up Deal with the Devil. Now I think we're going to continue with another main case, uh, self-defense. We have been framed for murder. So I pop back in here to change. But then I see that we got something for completing another main quest. So. The Blackwood Marsh Canning Factory was last night the site of some sad and unusual events. According to neighbors, inhuman screams and shouts in an unknown language can be heard for several blocks. Witnesses also reported seeing flashes of light in an unnatural color they suggest, or they struggle to describe. Evernote Blackwood, the vinyl representative of the Blackwood Grand family, was later found dead inside the factory. The cause of death could not be established, but with it comes the end of one of the pillars of Oakmont society. So he died trying to get that stuff out of me. Interesting. I figured this would be fitting. Master Sleuth outfit since we're trying to figure out who framed us. So we have to head over to the Carpenter's house. Because Brutus bailed us out. So let's go see what he has to say. All right, I think this is the Carpenter's right here, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. Of course, the entrance is over here. Rag Martins and Carpenters. Like, right across from each other. And then the, uh... Blackwoods are, like, up on their own mountaintop somewhere. Who's this? All those beggars and squatters will be shot. Hey, what's up, my dude? Don't you have work to do? Yeah, what are you doing? One-handed worker over here. A little blackmail, a little larceny, a worthwhile scrap or two. Just like the old days. Oh, you were the dude that was in the hideout. He was like banging on something on the table. All right. We just go right on in. We can, but to no avail is over here. Oh, this is Graham's room. Oh, now that kind of hurts. There we go. Mr. Carpenter, glad to see you in good health. Yeah, I'm glad too, kid. It was hard to make it here in one piece after all that turmoil. I never expected this from my own son. I'm sorry for that. Eh, never mind. Nothing wine, women, and song can't fix. <laughs> I'm still going strong, kid, if you know what I mean. I wanted to thank you for bailing me out of jail. That was very helpful. Yeah, sure, kid. But you must understand that your freedom ain't yet insured. They still have a witness against you. Milton Pierce. I can make sure the police swallow whatever I feed them. But I need some morsels to offer. You get me, kid? You need evidence of my innocence. Find the one to blame and let my taskmaster know. Old Brutus will do the rest. Who is this Milton Pierce? Ah, another rich rascal running for mayor. Nothing special. Just your typical Reed Heights scum. Do you know where I can find him? No idea, kid. From what I've seen in newspaper interviews, he's all over this town. Ugh. Do we really want to ask? I mean, we kind of know. I didn't see Graham here. What happened to him? I had to ensure my own survival, kid. I don't think you want to know more than that. Well, I'm, I'm assuming the obituary we read kind of tells you that. Thank well, thank you. you. I should go. Wait a second, kid. Take this. It's a fine tool. Oh, is it? Situation. Is it? Make good use of it. Will do. Please. Thanks. Please. Yeah. Watch yourself, kid. Yeah! Oh, we got the Tommy gun. Oh, look at that bad boy. <laughs> oh. Y'all, dang, I have been waiting for this day. We 
got lore here, the canning factory. Okay, case book. I haven't learned much about Milton Pierce. All I know is he lives somewhere in Reed Heights. Okay, so I got to look him up. He's currently running for mayor. He had an interview in the newspaper. Okay, so let's go to the newspaper then, right? Get the charges against me dropped. I need to find the man that actually murdered Johannes Vandenberg. If I could pro provide proof of his guilt to the taskmaster at Carpenter's Manor, the Carpenter family will do the rest. It's nice to have powerful friends. Uh, so we got to go to the newspaper. All right, let's head on there. Oh, all right, here's the Oakmont. Oh, this is Oakmont Police Station. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm one road up. Not the Chronicle, that's... That away somewhere. There we go. Now we're where we need to be. I believe we are. <laughs> is this the right door? Yes. I haven't been in here in a lot. Not a minute. Investigate this. To whom it may concern, there is a conspiracy brewing in this city. It's the Fishmen. I know. Couldn't confirm my previous reports, but this time it's different. They are taking over. Their rancid underwater gold has been surfacing around the city. Soon, they will have enough to buy out everyone. Your institution will investigate this. Or must investigate this. I took the initiative and performed a preliminary investigation. Yes, I know I don't have a license, which is exactly why I need somebody who does. I'm sending you the first batch of my notes. More notes will follow as I carry on with my research. The conspiracy is real. The fishmen. The fishmen. The fishmen regard Sims. Uh, okay. Did we just. Yep, got another side case. Knock out a bunch, get a bunch more. Okay, did we finish half of it or what? what why did it. What was all that? Updating. Stay safe. She doesn't need anything. Alright, let's look this guy up. Alright. Today, our correspondent had the chance to roam the beautiful alleyways of Eastern Reed Heights. All for the sake of interviewing one of the most promising political figures in Oakmont. Here's his property, an apartment building tucked away on a museum avenue between Communion Road and Helog Street. is definitely a grand sight, but Mr. Pierce takes pains to assure us he is in touch with the needs of the humble man, meeting regularly with community leaders. Yeah, my butt. This thing got a speck of dirt under his fingernails, I bet you. All right. So that puts us... There's Reed Heights. East, uh, I hate getting up into Reed Heights. It's so annoying. Every, every other way is blocked up here. Museum Avenue. It's on Museum Avenue between Communion Road and Halog Street. So, somewhere here. All right. Hopefully that's not too bad. We will see you all there. Well, hopefully it's just up around the bend here. We got the hoity-toity, snooty-wooty part of town here. I guess it's this. Maybe. Ah, there it is. Yep. What do we got going? This guy sure had some blood on his hands. Literally. It's a mass of hands. Look at that hand. D and E, baby. You're framing me for murder. He's taking his election campaign very seriously. B and E is not below me. 
Someone got changed here in a hurry. They definitely kept some dirty clothes here. You can see the blood splatter. Can I like oh, no. that? No, this button. Mr. Pierce, on behalf of our community, I want to express a huge gratitude for everything you do for us. Very few of the stakeholders here show compassion to the Innsmouth Descendants. <laughs> and you are a rare exception. Please accept this dagger as a sign of our friendship and prove that while we maintain this connection, no one from our side will dare harm you. Oh, Anna. Cavendish. The shape is familiar. I've seen similar daggers before. Indeed you have, my sir. Can I get the Gordon Freeman weapon? Letter from Throgmorton, huh? Dear Mr. Pierce, despite all the differences we might have had in the past, I can't but admit that today I see you as one of the most promising candidates for mayor. Oakmont needs a strong hand. Which you can, which you surely can provide. Don't expect any financial support from my side. I believe one running for mayor should possess requisite financial means, but otherwise you will have my full assistance. So otherwise, Doug Morton doesn't like him, but he knows he's going to win anyway, so he's trying to be on his good side. I ain't going to help you out, but I'm not going to fight against it. Emptier than a banker's heart. Ooh. The, the blood was spurting out of him, Robert. Just spurting out. Oh, it's all over me. What? Ah, where's my dang tie? I should have been at City Hall by now. Voters won't meet and greet themselves. Get these out of my sight, Robert. Isn't that why we have a laundry room downstairs? Time to figure this out. I think the order I looked at them. The, the blood was spurting out of him, Robert. Just spurting out. Ah, where's my Dane? Get these out of my sight, Robert. Isn't that yes. why we have a laundry room downstairs? Yes. When Pierce came home covered in blood. He ordered his butler to take his clothes downstairs and went to meet voters at City Hall. Oh, we got a triple. Got lore. Double lore. And... The bloody clothes of Pierce's house can be used as evidence against him. Still, I need something more to accuse him. What else can we gather from this place? Besides loot! Based on past experience, leaving it here was not the best idea. The smell of blood can attract all sorts oh, of shit. unwanted visitors. You put in that button. I keep hitting that button. Stop. Finger, you know the difference between the tab and the cube, please. Stop. It's getting so old. Um, we haven't gotten all evidence. Only key evidence. Based on past uh, no. experience, oh, we already, we already read that. Not the best idea. The smell of blood can attract all sorts of unwanted visitors. Ah. Note J. 
to Milton Pierce. Milton, my dearest friend, my earnest friend, sorry. Uh, it's been a while since we last met, and I wish to remind you that my door is always open for you to pay me a visit. I thought we finally hold that seance we've been talking about for so long. I expect to see you at Crown Theater soon. Warmly yours, Johannes. <gasps> he was the one that was there when he got killed. That's why it's like the blood was just spurting out of him. Ooh. Interesting. Is he planning to become the Prince of Oakmont, or is this just some light reading? Ah, funny. My fellow Oakmonters, from this day forward, a new vision will guide our city. From this day forward, it will be Oakmont first. Every decision made on trade, on fishery, on newcomers and insmothers will be made to benefit the people of Oakmont. We must protect the boundaries of our city from both outsiders and the forces of nature. Let's make Oakmont great again. <laughs> Oh boy, that's that's a bit of a chuckler, isn't it? Jeez, there's a lot of reading in this guy's house. While Milton Pierce may not yet be fully fledged member of the Oakmont legislature, he has already proven his fitness for the role during his election campaign, not only in word but also in deed. First, Mr. Pierce has prepared and put in operation a new water supply project for Oakmont. He is also actively engaged in gre greening of the city, planting trees in suburban areas, and proposing new park spaces for recreation and community events. Second, his campaign promises seem to have struck a chord with the public. Most notably, Pierce has advocated for the construction of a wall around Oakmont to prevent the influx of newcomers. <laughs> I think I know who Mr. Pierce is uh, modeled after. Is it just hyperbole, or could Pierce really do it? We'll find out if or when he wins the election. All right, so we got lots of lore. Lore galore. Then go. No Pierce. Here's Butler. City Hall. Okay, we got to go talk to City Hall. I will see y'all at City Hall. All right. City Hall we are. Oh, stop bothering me, newcomer. Ah, oh, shut up, you old bag. Oh, this might be you. Good day, Mr. Pierce. Bet you didn't expect to see me. How are you here? You should be in jail. I have good friends who bailed me out. I just want to talk. Well, okay, if you wish. You saw the real killer. Tell me who it was. Want to know what I saw? I saw a bloody newcomer rush in, murder Johannes, and stroll out like it was no big deal. You're certain it was a newcomer. How can you be so sure? Trust me. Oakmanas know a newcomer when they see one. We locals can tell. Why did you claim I did it? Excuse me? Why wouldn't I? A friend of mine was killed. Why should I let that go? You know I didn't do it. Quite the opposite, Reed. I saw your face. Or are you going to claim it wasn't yours? You seem like a rational man, Pierce. Can't we come to an arrangement? Are you attempting to bribe a politician, Mr. Reed? What makes you think I'd accept such an offer? I'm sorry. I must be thinking of a different Milton Pierce. But let me tell you, my beloved mother is so old and so rich. I'll miss her dearly when she's gone. Well, that's a non sequitur. <laughs> Mr. Reed, how do I put this? I find my campaign hamstrung by a distinct lack of resources. 
Ah, so it's about the money after all. I fear that all the budget pressures are affecting my cognition. If the situation were improved, perhaps I'd see things more clearly. For instance, I might suddenly realize I'd mistaken you for someone else. You could even remind me of whom. Oh, oh, so he wants us to kill his mother so he can get her riches to fund his campaign. And in return, he'll, he'll frame whoever we want him to. Oh. Hmm. What about I kill you instead? Well, we, we don't. That's not going to be a good option. You know what? Let's let's say we'll do it because this game gives us options after options. So maybe we can say we'll do it and then double back and backstab him. Or maybe we can do it and it might work. I don't know. We got to figure it out. Let's see how it goes. Well, if that's what it'll take, I guess I have no choice. Just make sure it looks natural and clean. You know the carpets there cost a fortune. Actually, take this. Comes well recommended from Professor Cavendish. Put it in a drink or something. Hmm, I wonder what that could be. Your wish is my command. Anything else? My dearest mother Agatha is currently at her manor. Here's the address. And read, don't come back here after. People shouldn't see me with you. Oh, strychnine. It's not the same drug he was using on the fish. Ah, oh, to kill a human with plenty of spare. Can you just poison Agatha Pierce if I just put some kind of food or drink? Murder witness. Urban Pierce, the murder witness for Radeberg's Manor. I told the police I did it. He wants to get rid of his mother to claim his inheritance. My killer, he would re recant his statement against me. Gave me a bottle of poison to do it and told me not to return to him. When I'm done, avoid us being seen together. Make it the Pierce address. Uh, this one and this one. If Milton Pierce is correct. The man who shot Vanderberg is a newcomer. I learned that he married recently and was forced to commit the crime out of fear for his family. There should be a marriage license somewhere that may help me find him. All right. No, okay. Just double checking. All right, so we need to search marriage license. Would that be City Hall? City Hall deal with marriage licenses? I think they do, don't they? Um... Registry of legal documents? Period after the flood, subject citizens. Newcomers. Everybody certified Glenn Gordon Byers and Everett Catherine Lane. Okay. So now that we have the person that really did it, and this is Eastern Shells. Uh, corner of Powder House Street and Orchard Avenue. said powder yeah powder house look like it's a powder horse for a second when it was sideways uh right here okay and then we need this one no not that that one let's go back we look at the case book and we look at this and then it place the marker that helps northern old grove uh, it was on Beacon Street. 
near Bullock Street. So here. Okay. Well, let's go check on the actual real killer. And then we'll go talk to the mom. Sound like a plan, man. So we'll see you when we get closer. Should be up on this corner coming up here. Like right there. Yes. I'm getting really annoyed with that. Oh, okay. <laughs> are you Glenn Byers? Yes. Oh. Who are you? Charles Reed, PI. The guy taking the fall for your murder. Okay. How did you find me? Are you serious? I'm a private eye. Now don't make this any worse for yourself and answer my questions. Why did you murder Johannes Vanderberg? I had no choice. I am an honest man, sir. I have a family. My, my sweet Evelyn and Michael, her... Our son. I didn't want to do it, but they had him hostage. I, I don't even know Johan or whatever he's called. Huh. You know who's responsible. Uh, it was a, a gang. I, I'd never seen any of them before. Uh, this guy gave me a gun. Uh... Uh, will? Maybe? Uh, but I, I don't know if he was anyone special. That's all I know. I swear. Tell me exactly how it all happened. Uh, they broke into our house while I was out. I, I came home and found the broken door. Uh, there were signs of a struggle, but my family... Poor Evelyn. They were gone. You and I look rather similar, wouldn't you say? How is that possible? I... I don't know. Uh, this is the face I was born with. <laughs> I'm just as confused as you are. Do you have any relatives in Boston? Not that I know of. Uh, my family is from Providence, Rhode Island. <sighs> just another of this town's oddities to add to the list. <sighs> you never thought to report their abduction. Why not get help from the police? I wanted to call the coppers. I did, but they said... They sent me... Oh, drunk, I can't. It's still on the table. I have no guts to touch it. Oh, is that a finger behind him? I'll need to inspect the place where it happened. If you have to, it's next door. I locked it so no one can get in. And so I don't have to look at it again. Okay, let's say I believe you. You've done the deed, so where are your wife and son now? I don't know. The gang leader promised they'd be released, but they haven't returned. Please, I realize I'm in no position to ask, but can we make a deal? Depends on the offer. I am guilty. I took a life, but you have shouldered the blame. I will turn myself into the police and make this right. When I hand over the weapon, they will have to believe me, but I can't do it until I know my family is safe. Right. So I rescue your family to save my own skin. In a nutshell, yes. So what's your answer? Well, obviously, I'm going to go make some people look like Swiss cheese because I got to let the aggression out somewhere, right? All right, I'll do it. I don't like it, but I'll do it. Thank you. You're a better man than I, Mr. Reed. I'm sorry that I put you in this position, but I will make it right. I promise. Still has a wedding ring on. What kind of monster does that? There's a note in the envelope. Seems like you're reluctant to do the job. Here's a little something to motivate you. Get on with it. Yes, what kind of monsters would do that, Mr. Reed? Charles, how long have we been in this city? Really? There used to be some writing here, but it's been washed off. At least partially. Can we... Oh. 
can't see it again. So, the home of a suffragette, huh? Old but clean and shiny. That's definitely been taken good care of. That is cool that it's a shell as the speaker. Alright, what do we got in here? Some of the boards look fresh. No dust. Who in hell would think to use a spade as a weapon? <laughs> oh. Well, <what> <laughs> ah, great minds think alike, right? Uh oh. Seems like everywhere I go lately, I find blood. Yep. Crepe, silk, and lace. Must have been a pretty dress before it was torn. This door will be hard to fix. And there it is. Catch up to us when you're done. And don't waste any time rescuing Martin. He's expendable. Wait, I can't see the door. There it is. Don't you dare touch my mom! Oh. Oh yeah. Not hell yeah. Let me see who these guys are, because these guys need to be shot in the face. Open this door, or I'll kick it down. I think I'm starting to get the picture. So, Open this door, opposite. I'll kick it down. Don't you dare touch my mom. Catch up to us when you're done. And don't waste any time rescuing Martin. He's expendable. A oh, you can see what it says in the back, too. Mother and son. The latter fought back, knocking an attacker through the floor, and the rest of the assailants left with the hostages. How do I get into the room beneath us? Why? The kitchen? Uh, it's locked. One of Evelyn's attackers fell through a hole in the floor. Now maybe I'll find something useful if I look around. Wow. How do you know all that? <laughs> you detective types sure are clever. It would explain the broken boards. Uh, I'll get you the key. And, uh... Sorry for the mess. I'll get going. Alright, so now downstairs. You're gonna get me killed, Finger. You really are. Oh. Bye bye. Toodaloo. Screw you. That's a rare spirit. I'm lucky to have a bottle from before Prohibition. Congratulations on your wedding. From Sister Peg. You know what? We could we, dig it. Finger. I'm gonna have to go through some severe finger training here. Oh, uh, pick it up, please. <laughs> Ah, did you really just go wide on that? Oh, big boy. Hi, big boy. Don't mind the, uh, the creatures following me there, sir. Stop getting right up close to me. Wow. And only 18 XP. Four shotgun blasts straight to the face. Point blank. And you get 18 XP out of that. That's a load of ridiculous ludicrous. Ah, another one of those dumb things. Kid, y'all leave me alone, please. Ah! 
No, you don't need any help. Not after what y'all did. Someone must have had a hard fall here. Glad I'm not him. <laughs> Well, at least there's some loot down here. There he is. Let's see what he's got in here. Horn bit of map. A piece. Or in the bag of the dead gang member, I found a piece of map for the southern part of Salvation Harbor. Most houses on Eel Street, north of the intersection with Skipper Road, is marked to the red circle. Anything else I'm missing down here? Ah, Michael's diary. Dear diary, mom got a new chic. Things seem to be pretty serious between them. Well, I hope this one will make her cry like my father did. Wouldn't seem to be really, seemed to be a really nice guy. He showed me his collection of stamps and gave me this nice model car. Mom got married again. She looked so beautiful in a wedding dress and happy. The guy in the terrible yellow scarf came here last night. He was asking too many questions about Dad. Funny. I'm already calling him Dad. Anyway, I told him nothing and said to get lost. And today... Some of the boards look fresh. Now Joy is really cute here. I wish I could hear her sing. Oh, are you smitten with her there, Charles? Ah, uh, so we got we give fair judgment. Nice guy or not, buyers killed a man and must face the consequences for what he did. Victim, not villain. Buyers just a poor victim who was forced to commit a crime against his will. Both. Well, let's see if we can't play this around. Oh, Milton Pierce knows I did not murder Johannes Vanderberg, but for some reason he is setting me up. Pierce really believes he saw me at the crime scene. He mistook Glenn Byers' face with my own. Now that's the question. Did he set us up? Is he aware of it? Or did he really just legitimately think it was me? Because he was dressed to look like me. He had the hat, the gun, somebody that had my face. Ah, but he did just ask me to kill his mom. And that right there. Sorry. Okay. Still need to find the last clue to this place. I swear I've been all over. It's going to be something small and stupid. Like, this body had two things on it. It had the, the thing I picked up, and then oh, this. Sends shivers down the spine. Right? So there's two things. So I know it's going to be something that's got two things. It's got to be. Or one little thing tucked in the corner somewhere. You know what? Forget it. Forget it. I'm going to leave this one yellow. I just absolutely cannot freaking find it. I've been through all levels. Every single inch of every single level. There's nothing to click on at all. You got this dumb beer. You got this letter. I'm lucky to have a bottle from You got this foot. Like there's nothing else to click on in this house. And if I do find it, it's gonna be something so stupid it's gonna make me want to rage quit the game altogether. 
So forget this place. Screw off, house. I don't give a crap. You're staying yellow forever. A house of garbage. Alright. Now I got my frustrations out. Let's go to where we're supposed to go. Alright. Should be up around the corner to the left here. This, I'm guessing... This is going to be a full all out shootout or? A shootout, right? It's a fucking shootout. Shootout, right? It's a fucking shootout. That's not a coffin, huh? I mean, all these things. I haven't found any cordite. Hi there, Billy. Gotta say, I liked you more last time we met. Same to you, pal. Heard you might be coming, but hoped you wouldn't. So how about this? Leave now, and I pretend you weren't here. Why did you need the buyers anyway? What do you get out of it? There are powerful entities in this Borg. You should know better than to question their affairs. So you best get out while I'm asking politely, Charlie boy. Oh, you called me Charlie boy. You just signed your own death warrant. <laughs> Billy. I want no trouble for either of us. Byers did what he was asked, so it's time you do your part. For the last time, move along. I already saved your life once. Consider this number two. I get attached to people I save it. Bit of a weakness. But understand this, Charles. I'd hate to kill you, but if I have to, I will. Billy, holding a family hostage doesn't suit you. Let them go, and we both walk out in one piece. It's not going to work out that way. There's a reason the buyers are here. When the time comes, we'll set them free. Do I say bring on the fight, or do I say I'll leave and then just rattle them? I know when to walk away. You won't see me here again. Smart man. Saves me a bullet. Mm -hmm. What? This is what this. Don't push your luck, okay? Don't push your luck, okay? Get oh, I won't let me shoot you. I warned. Don't push your luck, okay? Tempting fake. <laughs> you looking for trouble? What? No, no, no. Push your luck, okay? No, no, no. You don't let me. They're not essential move MFers. Hey, could you clear your mind, please? It's getting really. So how about this? Leave now, and I pretend you weren't here. Billy, holding a family hostage doesn't suit you. Let them go, and we both walk out in one piece. It's not going to work out that way. There's a reason the buyers are here. When the time comes, we'll set them free. Sorry, Billy. 
This is bigger than both of us. May the best man win. So this is how it ends, eh? I hoped you might be different. It's a shame you'll die here, Reed. This city has far worse men than you. Open the poop. It wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad at all. You gotta do it. You gotta do it. You demon worshipping weirdos. The door won't budge. Aggrieved of the deal. EOD, George Cavendish, name circled in red, Harvey Merritt Morgan, I got it, Billy, you make sure no one from the expedition gets back to shore and everyone slips through, we got just the guy to handle it, goes by the name of Lewis Flynn, very obedient, will do everything he's told to, provide details, huh, a second mother's young things to be told to Graham of their intellectual abilities, similar to those of a three year old child, but will continue to evolve mentally, will perform simple orders immediately after brought to life. Understanding complex sentences will come later. Huh. A map and accompanying piece of paper with written coordinates. Jeez, we we're getting all kinds of stuff. Reviving the long dead steps to return spirits of the long dead. Ones to corporeal life, essential salts. Bind together and present to a hill. Just give him the books and hints. Let him find everything on his own. What the hell? Everything I've faced since coming to this city is on this map. Ooh. Yeah. But now your face is on this map. Well, actually, it's on the floor there, Chief. <laughs> Mr. Drennan, your proposal proved too tempting to resist. I will tell the police whatever you need. Uh, don't return. I will require some assistance on my election campaign. Thank you, mister. I... I thought they'd kill us. I... I don't know how we can ever repay you. Who... who are you? You look... I'm a private eye. And your father's worried about you, too. Father? Is he okay? Did you see him? He's fine. But this isn't over yet. Do you have somewhere you could hide out for a while? Um... yeah, yeah, sure. We'll stay at Aunt Peg's. What's going on? Your father and I have a matter we need to deal with together. He'll explain everything when he can. Okay, okay. Please, mister. Take care of him. He's a good man. I'll try. I've got to go. Have you... have you come to save us? Did you not just hear this conversation? All evidence collected, just like I like to see. Unlike that other house. Billy, we'll see you later. Oh wait, no we won't. <laughs> Alright, we out. Where are we going? We got lore. All kinds of lore, man. They're just dumping the lore on us towards the end here. Well, it feels like it's getting to the to a climax of sorts. Uh, turn to Glenn. Okay, and he was 
break in the yellow house. That's right. Okay. Well, maybe once I talk to him, maybe it'll clear out and say all evidence. Maybe I wasted 20 minutes looking around that house for nothing. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time in this game. Probably won't be the last time. That's very unsafe. I just leave that suspended like that. Of course, this whole city's unsafe, so. <laughs> what is one more thing gonna do? Alright, we'll see you when we're at Glenn's house. family is safe now. Yes, thank you so much. Uh, my sister-in-law just called to say Evelyn and Michael got there safely. Damn, they moved fast. I owe you everything. What happens now? Uh, should I turn myself in? Uh, first things first. You need to write a confession. It's your word against the witness. Uh, okay, I I'll take it over to the police station immediately. No, just give it to me. And the murder weapon. You still have it, right? Yes, sir. Here's everything. Good man. I'll go clear things up. I suggest you make the most of your time before the coppers come knocking. I'll get going. Alright. We got the gun. Alright. What do we got? Birds pay the debt. Now Byers doesn't have to worry about his wife and son. He will confess... Hey, anything else? Fire's gun was a murder weapon and directly implicates him in the crime. Whoever is found with the gun will be implicated in the murder and be planted to frame somebody. Like an a-hole that wants his mother killed. <laughs> Bill Pierce tried to frame me, so I'm returning the favor. If I find the gun along his bloody clothes, Take a picture. Mr. Carpenter should consider that significant evidence against him. Yep. I think so. But then we need to also go talk to his mother. So we're going to head over to Milton's mom's. Milton's mom's house. What am I to do now? Yep, nope, it's still yellow. This house has got some kind of weird hidden secret in it. I don't know what it is. Is it behind a piece of wallpaper? Like, crying out loud. I don't know what, what could be hidden. But I don't care. That house is... house is nothing but a... I don't know what I was going to say. I'm too busy trying to think what I'm doing. I'll see you when we get to the mom's house. See, I wonder whose mom it is. <laughs> Agatha Pierce, I presume. Uh, the name's Charles Reed. I'm a PI. Good day, young man. What's your business? There's a matter that I'd like to discuss. It concerns your son, Milton. Oh no! What's happened? Is he okay? I'm afraid this may take some time to explain. Perhaps you have something to, uh, wet my whistle. Oh, fear not. I keep my cellar stocked for just such occasions. Would you kindly fetch us some Chianti from the cellar? You look more than capable. What's the catch? Ma'am, that's a most generous offer. So why do I sense a quid pro quo? Oh, no, no. Well, I did hear some... Ah, there it is. But I'm sure it's nothing you can't handle. Yeah. Leave it to me. Here are the keys. Pick any bottle, as long as it's Chianti. And don't shy away from the good stuff. It's there to be shared with guests like yourself. Milton sent me here to kill you. Milton? No, it can't be. Please, Mr. Reed, you must have it wrong. Look, it's the truth. He wanted his inheritance and needed your death to look natural. Poison was his solution. No! 
I don't believe you. Please go away. I... I feel sick. Oh. Oh, we got. Oh, she took the key back. <laughs> I don't understand. What did I do? Oh, you just had uh, a son that got corrupted by politics and turned into a gigantic selfish a hole. That's all. All right. Now, what do we do? This case is ridiculously long. Uh, asked me to bring a bottle of candy from the wine cellar, told Agatha the truth. Refused to kill Agatha, now Milton Pierce won't change his testimony against me uh, until I plant the stuff in his house. So, now I have, Jesus, this convoluted case going on here. Uh, so now I have to go back over here. My goodness, what an onslaught. Why are you still alive? Oh, I did not want that, whatever that was. Stop. back to the cop hunters. Uh, all right, so we'll head back to the carpenters. All right, here we go. And Pierce is the murderer. I have proof that it was Milton Pierce that killed Johannes Vanderberg. Show me what you've got. The murder weapon is in his house, and a pile of bloody clothes. Here's a photograph. I don't know how you managed to pull this off, Reed, but it's impressive work. We'll take it from here. Accusing a mayoral candidate of murder is an interesting challenge, but the Carpenter family has tackled worse. Bye. Eerie feeling. You've been doing a great job, Mr. Ooh. I'm waiting for you at the Devil's Reef Hotel. Wait, what? What? What do you mean you're waiting for me at the Devil's Reef? Ah, uh, my prediction might have been a little underwhelming compared to what he might be. I thought he was just going to be a powerful person, but he might be a powerful being, if you know what I mean. A little bit more than man, if you would. What's this? Well, well, well. How is this possible? At last, Mr. Reed. I heard about your recent case. Let me congratulate you. You've truly outdone yourself this time. A question, if I may. Yeah. I've got a question. How on earth are you still alive? What can I say? Perhaps next time you should make sure you've finished the job. <laughs> it wasn't me and you know it. <laughs> All this. All I went through, and there was no murder to begin with. The prosecution would beg to differ. They had all they needed. A victim, a method, and a culprit. The rest is just bells and whistles. 
You set me up. You son of a... I only set the scene. I'll... What? Kill me? <laughs> as amusing as it would be to see you charged with my murder a second time, I'm afraid we have more pressing matters. What do you mean? You know exactly what I mean, Mr. Reed. The prophecy. The seal. You have made yourself a part of something momentous. Now, to your latest case. Wonderful execution all round. And I mean that literally. The hanging has been scheduled for... Oh, jeez. Tell me, Mr. Reed, why did you do it? Why condemn a man of such high station for a crime he did not commit? I can't remember if I was wrong. He's committed plenty more. How about the option that really swayed me? He tried to make me kill his mother so he could have her money. I said, no. He testified against me and conspired to have his mother killed. Oh, there we go. Indeed. His corruption was common knowledge, yet you were the only one who acted upon it. Regardless, I shall call this experiment a success. In fact, you should consider it a taste of your ultimate trial. I don't understand. What do you get from all this? You are headed into the darkness, Mr. Reed. I'm giving you the experience you'll need to find your way through it. What do you mean, my ultimate trial? What does this have to do with anything? <laughs> of course. Everything. It's your destiny. Destiny beyond comprehension. To be more than a speck of cosmic dust. To make waves across the universe. To end things. End what? Everything. You've suffered in this city from the very beginning. From the moment you were born, in fact. Wanting to end it is only natural. But unlike those untold millions before you, you have the power to do so. You can turn mere prophecy into absolute truth. You don't mean... The seal of Kotiganar is in your hands. You possess the key to the gates and all they hold within. You can close them and cling to mankind's misery for a few more cruel centuries. Or you can open them and end it. And you will do the latter. Why? Why would I destroy everything? Because otherwise your life amounts to nothing. Do you know how many chosen few there have been over the centuries? Nameless hordes, sacrificed at the whim of invisible masters. Not unlike those who watered the poppies of Flanders with their blood. But our sacrifices mattered. We won the war. A war with many yet to come. This is your kin's nature, your purpose to suffer. Your monkeys in an open cage, unwilling to walk out. Only you can make a difference. You can end it all for good. <laughs> this, this is what it's coming down to. In everything in existence or not? Uh. You're wrong. I'll prove it. You will prove nothing. You'll die. And at the next turn of the cycle, another will come along who is brave enough to finish the job. Nevertheless, I cannot abandon you, whether you agree with me or not. Your path is too important. Even if your choice is beyond my control. You're right about one thing, at least. There is an archaeologist in this city. He is very close to unraveling the secret of Katiganar. And you'll need his help to get inside. His name is Joseph Hill. Here's his address. Talk to him. Earn his favor. Seriously? All that, and you don't even know how to find Katiganar? <laughs> if I knew that, would I be working with a private eye? Good point. Good point. <laughs> this is wrong, Johannes. All of it. And I still have no idea why I should even believe you. The truth is the truth. Whether you believe it or not, you can accept it. Or try to put the blindfold back on. It doesn't matter. 
Farewell, Charles. Whether we speak again or not, I will be watching. And don't lose the seal again, or all your effort in this city would go to waste. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Oh my goodness. Uh, with the help of the seal. So I gotta go to Joseph Hill. This is still in self-defense, by the way. Holy cow, this is the world's longest case. This could be a second case. We, we could be done now. Uh, Reed Heights, of course, way up here. Oh, this one, please. Uh, Lumbert Street. Between Helog and Hale Helen. My goodness, this is, this case is dragging on way too long. Far, far too long for its own good. <laughs> oh, never mind. Okay, now we're on a new case, Fleeing Phoenix. Okay. Oh, thank you. Oh, the game just must not have loaded properly or something. Um, let's go ahead and remark that then. Do, 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 do. Yeah, so he's up here in Haylog. Or Lumbert between Haylog and Halen. So, somewhere there. Oh, okay. I thought we had a lot more to go. I mean, this recording's already pushing two hours now, but that's because I had to redo a, a bit that I messed up in because I picked the wrong thing. But, uh, oh, that was a lot of back and forth thing there, but you got it. was a massive, massive lore dump in here, too. And we were getting letters and lore and letters and lore, just galore. Letters and lore galore. <laughs> But it was also it was also pretty fun. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. Uh subscribe if you're not already. And well, have a wonderful day. We'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.